Um, my name is James L. Hayes. I'm a contemporary visual artist based in Cork. Um, I'm also a lecturer in sculpture at the MTU Crawford College of Art and Design in Cork. Um, I trained in sculpture in Limerick School of Art and Design in the 90s, and then I moved to London in the UK to study uh, sculpture at De Montfort University in Leicester, and then at the University of London. I also spent about 10 years working in the East End of London working for a prestigious and uh, renowned fine art foundry called AB Fine Art. So for me, um, I always have this attraction to making the multiple, uh, making cast elements that are re repeated all the time, uh, using that idea that they all maybe are produced from the same mould, but actually the, the idiosyncrasies between casting, whether in bronze or in plaster or in iron or aluminium, they will always take on some kind of difference given that they're, dif they're given their different materiality. And that's a kind of running theme within my work and the other work that's on. And, and the other thing that is a big driver for me in my own work and my own interests is obviously kind of things related to food. Uh, and, and I'm always kind of really interested in exploring kind of processes and you know there's so much of kind of food processes of molding and mixing and casting that are all very complementary and relatable to to what contemporary chefs and cooking and so do and we all know cooking is a new rock and roll and there is such a kind of crossover so for a lot of the time for me I spent a lot of time crossing over my my food research and food interests into into casting and things like that and where they met in the middle I tended to explore. So for when I was, I, I've always had that interest in driving and cooking and creating and having all the accoutrements of <laughs> really sharp knives and really good mixers, but also having really good tools and really being able to make things in an advanced manner. So they, they kind of go hand in hand for me. I'm always kind of inter switching together. And, and in a piece like this, <laughs> it's, it's right there. I mean, I get those ones, you know, that are here. This is a piece of work called Homegrown, and it was originally inspired by another piece of sculpture I made in 2012. Uh, that was an installation work that um, was interactive and was based on uh, aspects of climate change and how the vegetable asparagus was uh, it trafficked or air mild across the world, and it's the most air mild covered vegetable. And I was kind of interested in that, that idea of waste. I was also really interested in that idea that how in some people, which is a genetic aphylactic reaction, it's a reaction which uh, changes uh, a, a person's urine or has a very distinct odor from your urine uh, after you eat asparagus. So I was really interested by that aphylactic element. And so I wanted to make a piece of work that explored that idea of, of how your body gets rid of those, those compounds and phosphates, which is in asparagus and those, those kind of impurities uh, that your liver produce that and, and produce that into your urine. So I made a piece of work where I, I grew some asparagus and I kept ate the asparagus and I kept the urine and I made a perfume which would um, um, which would propagate and, and which would kind of spray a drill of cast bronze and cast iron asparagus. And I, what I discovered over the period of research was that, that they were the same chemicals that we use in industry like ammonias and potassium sulfates and things like that, that color bronzes. Uh, in industry, so there was a kind of historical or classical art response to that. This piece later, homegrown, was a kind of a, a collected version or distilled, pardon the pun, distilled version of, of this work. And this was about very much being that these were asparagus that were grown in Ireland compared to asparagus that are grown in, in, in South America, which are much smaller and often take five or six weeks to travel here from South America and that, that are, have obviously devastating effects in terms of carbon production and air miles. So these, this work was a kind of a, is a celebration of a kind of a, a, a domestic or a kind of a indigenous crop that we really underutilize in Ireland and it's not something that's produced. So in this piece there, in this work, they're kind of really celebrated, they're polished bronze, you know, they're tied together, bound together like a, 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 like a, a tripodic kind of stance and they're kind of set upon a, a hand-stitched um, felt cushion and presented in this kind of um, trophy-like uh, uh, perspex and walnut vitrine. So it's, it's meant to be, I suppose, to really celebrate these kind of uh, revered <laughs> vegetables that we, we, that we mostly import. Yeah.